nobody, nobody believes you when you say you don't know how much money your family has got from the wheat group. You've had a month to look into that. You knew you were going to testify here. Again, how much money total have your brother, mother, and spouse received from this organization? How much? That information has been publicly shared, but I will highlight it. Well, then tell me what mother, it is. Uh, my mother How much? Has, uh, has Just the dollar worked. figure. The member for Carleton refused to repeat the allegations he made on Monday outside this house yesterday. He is hiding behind parliamentary privilege. I asked outside of the walls of this house when the Minister of Finance sold his 680,000 shares in Morneau Chappelle. I also enumerated all the facts leading up to that sale. And I am absolutely confident that everything I've said out there and in here is true. Would he commit that if I go out and repeat my question in the lobby at this moment, that the finance minister will meet me there and answer the question? <laughs> The dollar figure, Prime various Minister. various ways and is uh, proud how much? of the work that she's done, and I'm proud of her. How as much? Well. Uh, I'm looking for can, a dollar figure. We can, we can get that number for you if you like. It's been in, out in the media. It's been in the media, but you don't know it? How is it even possible no to plan. spend $186 <laughs> billion dollars without a plan? Honorable Minister of Infrastructure. The city of Halifax has purchased 20 buses with our plan. Buses that are improving service in that community. Mr. Speaker, I ask, what is the plan to spend $180 billion on infrastructure? And he says, we got 20 buses. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> How much does that work out to per bus? <laughs> you don't know how much your family has received from this organization which you tried to give a half billion dollars, really. Can I answer, Mr. Paglia? I'm waiting. You haven't done an answer so far. Let's make this the first one. Bet their own money on Gateway Casinos. Well, it turns out nobody. Of course, the company was just downgraded to junk status and its parent company lost 95% of its value on the stock market before being delisted altogether. In fact, financial experts in Toronto say the company vastly overvalues its assets. But there's someone who would invest other people's money in it. The casino just got the jackpot of $200 million from this government. With the financial genius over there who invested 200 million of our tax dollars in this failing casino firm, please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> like 